Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the NY Gear Review. Let's jump right into it with a impressions video on the brand new altimeter watch from Koros called the Vertex. I was reached out to by Koros and asked to do a uh, in-depth review as well as an impressions video on this watch. Um, so they did send me that product. Um, just so you guys are aware and keep that in mind. Okay, so I have spent about a week with this watch so far um, And I'm just gonna give you guys a rundown on some of my initial impressions and um, first thoughts after having worked with it and worn it all day every day for um, a little over seven days Right out the box, this is a beautiful looking watch. Um, the design so far uh, is something that I'm really into and really fits my style. For the way this watch is coming in at 75 grams, I'm impressed so far that such a large watch um, actually doesn't carry as much weight as you might expect. It's also pretty competitive with um, other brands offerings of the same style watch, such as the Phoenix um, 5 Sapphire, as well as the Sunto 9. Uh, both of those watches are just a tad heavier than this watch. For the materials on this watch, there's a titanium bezel and cover. And then the screen is a sapphire glass with a diamond-like coating. The face of the watch is a 1.2 inch memory LCD display. Um, the pixel layout is 240 by 240. So far, my impressions of the display are that the colors are a little bit duller than um, I might have wanted or expected from this watch. The Vertex does feature a built-in barometer, altimeter, and compass. Regarding battery time, so far this thing has been an absolute champ. I am on seven days of full use, I uh, haven't taken it off or turned it off, and I'm at 68% um, and I started with a full charge. Koro says you can expect 45 days of regular use on just one charge with this watch. However, when you go into GPS mode, you can expect 60 hours in full GPS mode, and then 150 hours in ultra max GPS mode. Now, if you are using the Vertex in the ultra max GPS mode, what that's gonna do is reduce your GPS sampling to every 30 seconds. So you'll have 30 second intervals between each sample that the GPS is taking. The watch is also waterproof up to an astounding 150 meters. The Vertex is designed to work in extreme cold temperatures all the way down to negative four degrees Fahrenheit. Another astounding feature that the Vertex offers is 24 seven blood oxygen monitoring um, using the pulse oximeter. So this is useful to see how well you are acclimatizing to uh, high altitudes when you're going on big hikes or doing mountain climbs, whatever it is, to see how efficiently and how quickly your body is acclimatizing. I will say these wrist-based monitors aren't as accurate as they probably could be. Um, and so this watch is also designed to work with ANT or chest uh, strap heart, chest, chest strap heart monitors um, to get a more accurate reading on your pulse. Here are a couple things that I can address already just after having used the watch for a week now is that the battery life is so far insane. Uh, like I said, I haven't, I haven't plugged it in yet. Um, I started with a full charge of 100% and I'm now at 68%. So overall, I'm thoroughly impressed with the battery life for this watch. Um, and that includes sleep monitoring, heart rate monitoring, um, it counts your steps as well as it's counting your elevation. Uh, I have noticed that over the past couple of days, the watch will pick up some inaccurate readings for heart rate or the altimeter will be a little bit off or temperature. However, regarding the temperature, this watch isn't really intended to take your surrounding temperature unless you're submerged in water. Otherwise, the temperature that you'll be reading will be a little bit influenced by your own body heat. I think overall what Koros is going with for this watch and design is really zeroing in on the housing and the quality of the components being used. I think this watch is gonna be incredibly durable, as well as the fact that it can withstand such cold and high temperatures, as well as high depths of 150 meters. One of the features that I've really gotten into so far is this sleep monitoring. 
Um, I haven't been able to use the watch on any big hikes yet. I have those coming up for some testing. But as far as sleep monitoring goes, it's pretty awesome uh, to be able to see how deep you're sleeping or how light you're sleeping, how many times you wake up in the middle of the night. It's a little uh, disconcerting to uh, see how often the average person wakes up on a given night. Um, however, overall, just to be able to look back at some data that sh reflects your sleeping patterns is pretty cool. And then also, I've been really impressed with the button layout and configuration for this watch. So far, it's been really intuitive as well as super simple to use. Um, this knob in the middle of the watch helps to go up and down and also select whatever you're on. And then the opposite, and then the buttons above and below help to either go back to the previous menu or to illuminate the screen with the light. Koros is offering four different color styles for this watch. The watch comes in the dark rock that you see right here, as well as fire dragon, which is this orange. Then we have the mountain hunter, which is this green and the icebreaker. And like I said before, the icebreaker will be coming in at $100 more than the other watches. Customizing the watch can be pretty simple. Some of it can be done in the watch itself and then others, other elements of changing the settings is done in the Koros app. Such things as changing the layout of workout screens as well as changing the watch face and having custom watch faces. I will be doing a full on in-depth review of the Verdix coming later on. I have a climb of Mount Baldy coming up and so I'll be saving some of my final impressions and review items until that. In summary though, I've been pretty impressed with the last week of usage for the Vertex. Um, I love a lot of the features that it has to offer uh, and look forward to really testing out its limits uh, in some of its high altitude and oximeter features. All right guys, well thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please leave them below in the comment section and I'll get to them as quickly as I can. As always, please subscribe below and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.